second week of the course on cyber security. second week we are going to discuss about cyber attacks various types of cyber attacks the characteristics classification etc in this module we are going to deliberate on cyber attacks as of october 2018 there are 4.2 billion active internet users worldwide and 3.4 billion people are active in social media we know governments and business organizations are increasingly automating their day to day activities which has led to increase in cyber crimes and subsequently cyber attacks these attacks include financial scams hacking downloading copyright content illegal pornographic content virus attacks cyber stalking and hate crimes against minorities and sometimes even on lgbtq communities when was the first cyber attack happen and how did it happen the morris worm which was executed in the year 1988 is the first known major cyber attack it used a weakness in the unique system known and replicated itself The worm was developed by Robert Thuffan Morris who became the first person ever to be convicted under the US Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. All of us actually frequently use the term cyber attacks. Let's try to define the term cyber attack. Definition Cyber attack is a mean of compromising integrity confidentiality or availability of the resources or the data stored in a computer which is connected to the internet or intranet cyber attacks can be defined as a deliberate exploitation of computer systems resources networks and technology connected through world wide web Okay how are they executed in order to execute a cyber attack malicious code or logic is used to alter the actual code or data this will result in compromised data the compromised data leads to cyber crimes such as information and identity theft and other outcomes such as fraud extortion malware farming phishing spamming spoofing spying denial of service and distributed denial of service and theft of hardware instant messaging abuse and other sometimes other intellectual property theft network attack or cyber attack in other words is nothing but an interruption of authenticity or integrity of information or data which is also known as hacking once the hacking is done the infected system acts as a spy and it start disturbing other systems in the network it can be remotely operated by the hacker and the commands are passed to it the activist looks for the flaws in the infected system so that other systems can be infected via the system such as deficient in antivirus bugs in software and flawed system configuration these are some of the means through which they can attack other computers some common characteristics behind these acts are regimented in other words well ordered scrupulously designed or harmonized in other words consistent demanding time and resource enormous organized not spontaneous or ad hoc 
we'll see one after the other. Regimental. It compromises the functionality of the organization with severe damage in such a way that the attacks are well organized. Second, scrupulously designed or harmonized. To infect the system, the attackers expect the process to be sequenced or harmonized. The ordered steps make the hackers to achieve what they exactly want to do and the hacker will get benefited in time. Third, demanding time and resource. Planning for an attack should be made in advance because it needs a lot of time and more money to execute as well as to organize. Four, enormous. Usually the attackers are initiated at large scale to infect billions of computers worldwide causing a large volume of data loss or financial losses. Next, organized. The attackers uses organized methods to infect the system very quickly and easily. To get more efficient results, they use logically organized methods. Finally, not spontaneous or ad hoc. Attacks are made with purpose and care to cause maximum damage to the network or system. Cyber attacks are growing stronger and more sophisticated. Below are some of the three basic categories of attacks. Number one, volume based attacks. Number two, protocol based attacks. Number three, application based attacks. First, volume based attacks. Volume based attacks use high traffic to flood the network bandwidth. Next is the protocol based attacks. They exploit the server resources and that is a cause behind the protocol attacks. Third one is the application based attacks. They are very serious types of attacks and they focus on web applications and these are considered to be the most sophisticated type of attacks. Cyber attacks mainly target the information or data of various platforms which includes the financial organizations website, news and media websites, military and defense department websites, business organization websites and even government websites.